Hey guys! Wait, now I'm looking down. It's sauce. Hey guys! It's okay. Yeah. Hey guys! Welcome back to my channel. Uh, if you're new here, yeah, my name is Funken Dolly, and this is my husband, uh, Emilio. He's been here a couple of times. And today we are going to be doing the husband and wife, our first time. Yeah, so the first time we did a couple of stuff, so that's what we're talking about. So does that include our first time? Our first time? There are many first times, it depends on what you're talking about. Our first time? Our first time going for lunch, yeah. <laughs> really? First time going, who can, who gives two <laughs> cents when the first time we went for lunch? Yeah, it's a very important process in dating. First time going for lunch is very important. Shut up, you know what I'm talking about. Anyways, no, I was kidding. Of course, we're not going to be talking about that. Uh, so I looked up, of course, um, this tag has been on YouTube. So I looked up and I found a couple of questions that we're going to be answering for you guys. Um, the first one is, how was your first day at the university? First day at the university, um, maybe let's start from matriculation or from the interview. I don't know, the first day you ever set your foot in the uh, university, yeah. The first day I ever set, yeah. That was University of Boya, yeah. a couple of years back. It was, I thought the campus was very beautiful. That's what struck me most. It was colorful and beautiful, mm -hmm. yeah. I was so excited, you know, deciding whether to study accounting, management, and... So you decided on what to study when you were in the university, not before, before like... Yeah, you have a couple of options, but, you know, you go and apply then, mm -hmm. the, make the list and, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, it was just a nice experience being with friends and talking to future accountants, managers and... Okay. <laughs> yeah. You know, the first day of a long future. Okay. Um, we went to the same uh, uni. Um, first day. And uh, yeah, that definitely is a beautiful campus. Like, it's really, really beautiful. I already... I, I knew that I wanted to study journalism uh, and mass communication. Yeah, first day. It was not, I didn't really feel like mm, sad, I left my family, I went to boarding school like seven years, so I left my family all the time to go to school. It was more like, oh my gosh, finally, I get to be where I get to do what I want, wear what I want, do what I want, you know, yeah, that's how I feel. So, uh... Sound like they used to lock you in a cage. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not answering that. Next question, um, how was the first time we went on a date together? Do you remember when was our first date? Um, first day, I don't know if you call that a date, but and it was the first time we actually went out together. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was um, the night uh, my friend had his birthday party. No, that's not a date. From my understanding of a date, a date is two people alone. The first time you and I went on ah, a date. So that's, yeah, okay. A date is just two of us. Uh, okay, I was thinking of maybe the first time we went out. No, on a date. The first time we went on a date. Yeah, I think it was Tonton Sami, I yeah, think. Yeah, I think yeah. so, yeah. We went out um, to have, it was evening, so probably dinner. Yeah. yeah. Not lunch, we dinner. Went out dinner. Yeah. It was nice and amazing. We got to speak, you know. It's always tense when you're trying to impress a girl, you know. But it was a relaxed evening. Mm -hmm. We had fun, we spoke, and the flow was good, so it was, it was nice. Okay. And of course, it was even better because I ended up with a positive answer. So, <laughs> what was my side talking about? Did I tell you anything? That you are sitting me? right next to me. So oh, that's okay, okay, answer. okay. But the only thing I remember is, no, my family watches these videos. Can you say? Um, what was your first holiday? When was the first time you ever went on holiday in your life? Oh my God, uh, I cannot actually remember the age. But I uh, used because um, I'm from the southwest in Cameroon, so I have my aunt. She used to live in Yaoundé, that's the center region. That's where my family is based. Yeah, so as long back as when I was two or three years old, I can't remember, I was quite little, but I have pictures, so I know I was that young. 
Yeah, that's when I started going for it. So I used to go there every summer holidays. Yeah. Hmm. It was a nice, nice house, nice vibe. You know, a lot of people of my age group or old, a little older, but a lot of kids generally in the house. So we used to be almost more than 10 kids. Hmm. It was a big house. Yeah, so it was a lot of fun. Nobody wanted to miss out on that. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Mm, the first step, I think my family, <laughs> we never really went on holiday. I probably went on holiday when I was in form five. I passed my. Like, <laughs> <laughs> no, I passed um, the ordinary level, the GCE ordinary level. I went to Douala. That was the first time I went to Douala. I went to my aunt. In form five? Yes. Oh my god. <laughs> that was the first time I went to Douala, to my aunt's house. I had a great time. Yeah, I had a great time. Yeah, it was it was a good, you know, job. And because my cousins were around the same age group, you know, a, a couple of girls in the same house. It was nice. Yeah, a lot of gossiping to be done. Whatever. Yeah. Um, the first the first time you put makeup on. Oh, the first time I put makeup on. Okay, that's not for me. Yeah, that's probably in uni. In my home, you don't, you don't, you don't do makeup. Probably when I was. 17 or 18 it depends on your definition of makeup if makeup as in vaseline okay boarding school because boarding school oh yeah we, we used to have, i used to put like vaseline on my lips and then we had like lip lip uh lip gloss that used to have the it, it used to roll it used to have like a, a ball on top that roll so it, it, you basically just apply like this and it rolls and it used to be glittery like like granite oil literally like cooking oil so you put that on your leaves and then when we have when we had socials you apply some of the vaseline on your lips like this and some on your <laughs> eyebrows you know so <laughs> if you went to boarding school you know what i mean I definitely know. know in the let me know in the comment section if you went to boarding school and if you did this like i don't know much about that kind of makeup but i'm very sure that's no makeup <laughs> okay fine if that's not the makeup you're talking as a proper makeup Probably not even in uni. I I I, I did not grow up in a home where I, I I was used to make up. You know, even uni it was powder. Powder. So you put the powder, you dust it off, apply. That's it. I never did my so eyebrows. So when even was it your first time actually? You maybe when I started was... when I started work when I started working in Douala. Yeah, maybe okay. at the age of maybe twenty one or twenty two. Yeah. So um, next question. The first time you shaved, you when was the first time you shaved? You? The first time I shaved, I was a baby, so I shaved my head, I shaved my <laughs> baby's head. <laughs> okay. Maybe five, six months, so I don't know how old I was, but yeah, I shaved everybody's head. So. Okay. The first party you ever went to? First party? I don't know if birthday parties count, if they count, I went to a proper party, like club. <laughs> Christ! <laughs> A birthday party, still a party, that's party written in it. When was the first time you went to the club? To the club? Mm -hmm. uh, huh. That I cannot really remember. Probably high school. Really? Yeah. I had opportunities to go in, well, in secondary school and all that, but I'm not really a club person. Mm -hmm. Dancing is not one of my favorite things, so mm -hmm. yeah. So I always found a reason to give my friends why I could not come. But in high school, yeah, it was finally time. That was my first time. Uh, first time I went to a party, it was probably in... After GCE again, ordinary level, I think. But... I'm not so sure though. I probably, no, probably, I'm, maybe I'm confused between ordinary level and um, advanced level GCE like when, when I was about to get into uni I think that's the first time I ever went she's, to she's acting so old so, uh, it's just a couple of years but how, <laughs> I, don't how really, I, don't really, I don't I don't know I don't really remember but I definitely remember that I went to I used to uh, after um, advanced level I went to the club frequently with my cousins we had so much fun in Douala yeah I think those, I remember those memories like vividly that I definitely remember that but definitely at the age of about what 17 18 in my home i was don't go out in my home my dad mom very strict um next one first time you met my parents um first time i met your parents 
parents has two of them, but I actually met your mom first. Yeah. Yeah, I met your mom first during your graduation. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, before your graduation actually. Hmm. Yeah. The really? first yeah, the first time I met your mom was before you were still in the university the final year. Yes, yes. Yeah, then I was working in Douala, then I came to visit and mm -hmm. your mom was in town. Mm -hmm. She was also visiting. So that's the first time I met her. But yeah, mm -hmm. apart from that I met her also at your graduation we're there together. Yes. But your dad, I only met your dad much later. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just maybe a year or so back, yeah. Okay. The first time I met your mom, it's not even the encounter is it's not really about meeting her. I just I really remember it was at Tina's graduation. For starters, the dress I wore, oh my god, I don't know how many daughter in laws get to meet their mother in laws. I mean, I was then I was just a girlfriend, of course, but my gown was a short, short dress. She didn't even have an issue, I was like, Thank you. It's not god. because she was once your age, so she used to wear those things also. She okay. has a couple of pictures with things which are very short and skinny. yeah, no, my the dress was very short, so I was like, No, this is not the proper outfit to give a first impression to create the first impression to your boyfriend's mom, you know, but I mean, she didn't mind. Lucky for you. <laughs> really? <laughs> <laughs> because first impressions are lasting impressions, you know, those impressions never really leave your mind. Uh, the next one, first time you cooked for me. Yeah, I can't remember that. You have because never cooked for me, have you? You can't say that. I've been helping the kitchen, so <laughs> it might count as cooking. He has never cooked for me. Maybe the first time Bobby gets cooked for me, I'll actually let you guys know. The first time I cooked for you. No, you make me sound bad. No! Have you ever cooked a meal for me? Have you ever cooked for me? I'm going to fry omelette for you today. We're not going to really cook omelette. That's the first start. Okay, it's, it's, fine, yeah. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'm going to boil rice. Okay. Um, first time I went to, first time I cook for you. I spent a lot of time in the kitchen. I cook back back in uni. I think I cooked for you the first time back in the university. Yeah. Yes. So um, yeah. Um, first time living alone. How did it feel when you moved out of your house? How did it feel? It felt normal because. Um, my house is not, my mom is quite strict, but she understands you have to go out, you know. She just wants to know where you are and, you know, if you're staying out, just give a call and I'll be sleeping out or I'll be coming late and it's all fine. So, living alone wasn't really something I was very excited or was not a new thing, mm -hmm. you know, the whole freedom idea. It was just normal, you know, I've always been allowed to go out late and do stuff. It was just okay. Okay. No big deal. Just fine. Moving out of my house, and it was it was a process. My dad, my dad um, came along. When that was when I went to the university, when I had to move to another um, city or town to go to uni. So uh, my dad came along to help me set up my room. You know. It was not actually about the moving out because, like I said, I went to boarding school. So, like every three months or so, I left my home and went to boarding school. The difference now was boarding school, you get to share a common space with everybody. But now, my room is my room, it's my bed, my space. I decide what I cook, I decide what I don't uh, cook. She will just I have decide, to she <laughs> I decide when I go out could, and come she in. She could go out and come in. Late. Forget <laughs> about the cooking and my room, my space. You no, know, I'm serious. You also have your room and your space. Yeah, and all fine, that. but you're just happy you could go out and come at twelve midnight, and there's nobody to say where you're coming from. Trust me, that. it was a good feeling. Woo, he was so. Actually, that's the only <laughs> difference, really. <laughs> yeah, but um, it felt it felt nice because from Boya to Yaoundé is about four hours, so I was like four hours away or five hours from family. So, but it felt nice to move out of the house, definitely. And since then, I've never lived in my parents' house again. From after you leave, uh, no, after you leave for a year with my aunt and her family, you know. Then after that, I moved out and lived on my own till then. So, yeah. Um, your 
Your first girlfriend. When did you have your first girlfriend? Or... That I can't remember. Really? Not because it's rude. I don't know if to count as a girlfriend or not as a girlfriend. There are some which are not really serious. You don't know if it's counted as a girlfriend or not. So I don't know. <laughs> really? When did you have? Keeping all the not so serious and ones which I'm not really clear about, keeping those aside. Maybe no, you can the ones you are not clear about or whatever. Anyone, so long as you were talking to a girl or whatever, when was that? Uh, probably in secondary school. What, what class? Class I can't remember, it's a long time ago. I'm very old now, you know. <laughs> okay, I'll get the details of this particular. Question after this video. Uh, yeah, just trying to cause problems here. Okay. <laughs> Our first time going on a holiday together. When was it? First time going on holiday is uh... I think we went to Lube to Semebi. Yeah. We spent the weekend at Semebi. Yeah, that was it. That was the first short holiday we had together. Yeah. We did not leave the we did not leave the country. We did not even leave um We were just changing towns, yeah. going to to the beachside town and Spain is such a nice. Yeah. Just waking up by the beach and you know mm -hmm. the the vibe is good. The, the air, very everything relaxing. is relaxing. Mm -hmm. It's nice. It was very nice. Okay. Last question. First time owning a pet. I've never owned a pet. Just uh, because I've never owned a pet. Pets. I'm not into animals. Yeah, for pets, uh, love pets so much, especially dogs. I'm not a cat person, I don't like cats. I like cats when they're still young and when they're all grown, I don't like cats. So, uh, yeah, that's the end of this video. That was the last question. In case you came here with a dirty man, like you're coming to hear the details about the first time me. <laughs> no, that's not what this video was about. It was just about our first... Um, time we experienced a couple of things, how we felt, you know, the first time we did um, a couple of stuff. So yeah, that's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it and if you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and to click that subscribe button down below and the bell beside it so you get notifications each time I post a video. Do you have anything to say? Yeah, thank you guys for having us once more and it's always nice knowing you guys are out there. And We'll be seeing you guys soon again, so till next time.